Welcome to your uplifted message for this week. Let's get right in. I pre-shuffled so that that way we could jump right in. Be real, be real. Now this is saying to you that for this week you may feel slightly delusional, okay? And what that is, is that little foggy on who you are and where you've, where you've been and where you're going, okay? And this could be related to uh, relationships and work. We are in a new romantic cycle, okay? We're in a new romantic cycle, but you wanna make sure that you are looking at yourself and who you truly are in your own energy. Because sometimes people can get lost, especially when we're in a more foggy energy and you can get lost in an illusion in who you are, okay, and who you are. And then we have take a breather, take a breather. While we're going into this week, coming into this week um, for the full moon, full moon always requires us. Um, to take some downtime, scheduling in the time to to reflect, to take time with this full moon coming in, uh, full moon in Gemini. There's a lot of uh, reflection going on. And so oh, for the whole complete year. So you want to make time to, to take a breather. Take time, make sure you um, allocate time for yourself. Okay, and then we have reflect on your priorities. Reflect on your priorities. Now, this is aligning itself with looking at what's most important coming in this week. Are you looking at yourself with a schedule of what makes sense first? You know, aligning yourself with, um, hey, that's not part of my schedule this week, so I'm not going to add something that I don't need to be putting more on myself, okay? So that's important aspect for this, this coming up week, okay? Through the 4th through the 10th. Now, we have some areas in your life that doesn't have you being in agreement with this week. So there's some not, there's some, areas that aren't in agreement this week. Um, there's not some areas that you need to move on about being in agreement because you have to take some time to look at it and see if it makes sense or not. This is also with spending time in your own confidence, all right? This week is looking into your confidence, um, taking some quiet time to journal, to see about your confidence level, all right? And you may feel a little bit more to uh, put yourself out there to communicate with others and maybe align yourself with a small team of others with making some decisions, all right, about not being in full agreement, okay? Uh, we also have working in, you're not going to feel as strong or confident in some areas right now. So this is why it's important not to move in agreements, okay? Don't move in agreements right now because you don't feel like that's the timing. The timing won't be right to sign off on documents, sign off on um, purchases, big purchases this week, unless you've already looked at it last week and you've looked at the terms, okay? Also, if there's some new things coming in that you have to make decisions and you haven't Give yourself more time to look at the agreements, okay? Uh, we also have, you need, you will be looking at whether or not is this relationship in alignment with the direction that you're in for your life? You're gonna be looking at that. Is the relationship gonna be in agreement with where you are this week? Because it's, there are some new relationships, romance coming in, making agreements with maybe your um, spiritual path, spiritual path with others. Should you be moving forward in some areas, you're gonna be doing some reflection, okay? This is a good thing, taking down time with romance, romanticizing with areas, romanticizing with areas is also adjacent to your spiritual path as well. It have to have some oomph in it. And so you are gonna take time this week to do that. Okay, we also have 
focus. You'll be laser focused, paying attention to areas in your life, okay? And doing some uh, manifestations as well. Doing some manifestation, maybe some scripting in your life, along with it aligning itself with your future, okay? With your future. All right, so that's the tarot aspect. And then we're going to look at the areas of love, okay? Of love. Your vision. You've got to get vision in alignment with your relationships. You have to get your relationships with vision. Again, it's a little cloudy and not focused. This is where it's saying you have to get focused. Okay, you have to get focused. You're going to feel this. Until this clears up, then the focus energy will kick in. All right? And then making sure that you're using discernment. Making sure you're using discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish between love from fear, truth, and from illusion. So you, you're going to be working with your discernment, listening from within, listening from within. Not other people's opinions, not what they say or hearsay, but your own discernment. And maybe looking at these cards, listening to what the Spirit has to say to you. Contacting me for your personalized reading or doing a reading for next year, your whole scope of 2023, go to my website for that, okay? And then you have spontaneity, spontaneity. Sagittarius energy is bringing this in to get you to just move on the spot, okay? So you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embracing your new situations, lovingly and embracing your new situations so there's going to be some spontaneity that's a good thing so you're just moving on the drop of a dime and it's going to just work out it would just work out this week okay so i love you for taking the time to watch this uplifting message for this week continue to grow and go with us on this channel on our website sign up there contact me for your personalized readings along with conjure work our community uh, Coven North Node, so much more masterclasses. Check us out. Check me out on my website at https double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritualist seven dot com. Okay, grow and go with us. Have a wonderful full moon, cold moon, and Gemini, and I will see you soon.